During this legislative session, the House is scheduled to hear proposed bill HB 2640. The bill asks Arizona to grant millions of dollars this fiscal year to the Department of Health Services to aid in the research, treatment and diagnosis of the autoimmune disorders PANS and PANDA. Amber Kawaji spoke to members of the PANS PANDA Awareness Group about the importance of the bill. Dr. Susan Sweeto introduced the Pan's Panda Syndrome to the world in 2012. Over the last few days, Dr. Sweeto was here in Arizona addressing the House Health Committee on Pan's Panda's awareness. She says as many as 1% of grade school age children have the classic form of pandas, and having a center to diagnose and treat children is necessary. On the night of September 16th, 2008, our lives changed forever. Carrie Kling's son, Alex, was diagnosed with Panda syndrome, an autoimmune disorder often misdiagnosed as Tourette syndrome. Children with what was just being called Tourette's or regular OCD or even ADHD, many of the common childhood psychiatric disorders are actually missed cases of pandas. In fact, it took Carrie and her family nine years traveling to five states, seeing 25 doctors, to properly diagnose Alex and get him on the right treatment. And we believe that children need to have a very comprehensive medical workup because pandas, post-strep OCD and behavioral problems, is the majority of the cases of pandas, about 80% you will be able to find a strep trigger. That's why the PANS Panda Awareness Group is asking state legislature to help fund the Center of Excellence at the University of Arizona Medical Center in Tucson. The center is basically designed to, you know, take the most severe kids, help them, treat them, give them a, a projected plan of recovery, and then put them back in their own local environment, their homes, and let them recover. I was determined that nobody should have to go through this and that's why we have support groups now we're creating this center so that people don't have to go this alone if the center receives funding it will be the first of its kind the center will consist of roughly seven specialists nurses and social workers to provide diagnosis and treatment specifically designed around the child support will also be provided for family in the broadcast center amber kawaji cronkite news